Number 9. Penelope Soto. Come back again. Come back again. Bring him back again. I believe I heard you saying to. Yes, I did. I'm not going to do it. I believe you. Did you say? Yes, sir. Me? Actually, I did. you say that? Yes, sir. Oh, you did say that? I find you in direct that. criminal contempt. 30 days in the county jail. In early February of 2013, teenager Penelope Soto was brought before a judge in Miami-Dade County, Florida, after she'd been arrested for Xanax possession. Soto smiled, laughed, and stroked her hair throughout the proceedings as she discussed the offense with Judge Jorge Rodriguez Chomat in a video recorded hearing. For the purpose of setting the 18-year-old's bond, the judge asked her about the value of her jewelry and other assets. She replied that her jewelry was worth Rick Ross money, a reference to the South Florida rapper, which the judge didn't seem to understand. Rodriguez Chomat urged her to take the matter seriously, telling her, we are not in a club. The judge set her bond at $5,000, telling her bye-bye, to which Soto laughed and replied, adios. Annoyed by her attitude, Rodriguez Chomat called her back and raised the bond to $10,000, prompting a gasping reaction from 18-year-old Soto, who asked him if he was serious. He responded affirmatively and reported with her previous adios, prompting laughter to erupt in the courtroom. As Soto walked away, she gave the judge the middle finger and cursed at him. Rodriguez Chomat called her back once more and sentenced her to 30 days in jail for contempt of court. The clip of their interaction subsequently went viral. Soto tearfully apologized to the judge a few days later, describing her behavior as very irrational. She also admitted to having taken two Xanax on the day of her arrest. The judge dropped the contempt sentence, taking into account Soto's apology, her first-time offender status, her admission to Xanax abuse, and her willingness to overcome her addiction by attending a drug treatment program. Number 8. Tia Ann Uten on December the 16th of 2014, Oklahoma woman Tia Ann Uten was reportedly making a scene at the Oklahoma County Court Clerk's Office. As witnesses later told the police, 25-year-old Uten had been yelling, swearing, and gesturing to employees. She had her two-year-old son in tow and had placed him on a counter as the scene unfolded. When deputies arrived at the scene, Uten became confrontational and refused to leave the premises. While speaking to law enforcement, she turned to her child and said, That's right, son. Be a man and kill the police. The boy reportedly fell from the counter moments later but was caught by one of the officers. Uten was arrested on complaints of assault and battery on an officer, obstructing an officer, and disturbing the peace. Her son was consequently placed in protective custody with the Oklahoma Department of Human Services. Number 7. Timothy Knowlton and Joshua Fitzpatrick On July the 13th of 2022, two men were arrested following a brutal melee outside a restaurant in Dumfries in Prince William County, Virginia. The incident had started as a dispute between an unidentified employee and patrons. The former called his associate, 33-year-old Joshua Fitzpatrick, to support him in the conflict. He confronted the customers and as the dispute escalated, one of them, identified as 38-year-old Timothy Knowlton, brandished a machete. He struck Fitzpatrick with it before a separate fight broke out in the parking lot. It involved the employee who'd called for Fitzpatrick and an unnamed 38-year-old woman who'd accompanied Knowlton. During the second altercation, Fitzpatrick retrieved a hammer and hit the woman with it before the party separated and the police arrived at the scene. Only minor injuries were reported in the armed brawl. Knowlton and Fitzpatrick were arrested in the aftermath, with the former being charged with malicious wounding and the latter with unlawful wounding. Number 6. Mark Spiridakos In the summer of 2014, American director Woody Allen was filming in Providence, Rhode Island for his upcoming crime mystery drama, Irrational Man. The director wasn't actually on set in early August when a Greek man, Mark Spiridakos, 
caused the scene that required the intervention of local law enforcement. As reported by the set security guards, he approached the location and started asking weird questions about Alan and the movie's leading actors, Joaquin Phoenix and Emma Stone. He demanded to know where they were before grabbing a guard. He then threw a metal chair and an ice cooler at the security staff and had to be wrestled to the ground. Spiridakos suffered a head injury in the scuffle before he broke free and ran into a nearby hair salon. Employees and clients were stunned and confused upon seeing the blood-covered man as they didn't know if they'd inadvertently become involved in a scene from the movie. Photos taken outside the establishment would capture a shirtless Spiridakos as he was arrested by local law enforcement on charges of assault. The man didn't make a plea during a subsequent hearing at Providence District Court, where he appeared disheveled while wearing a hospital gown and bandages on his head. He was released on a $10,000 bail in order to undergo a mental health evaluation. Number 5. Chase Holderby Florida man Chase Holderby caused a disturbance, endangering himself and others, while at Walt Disney World's Epcot Park on September the 10th of 2022. As reported by witnesses, the father of two downed, two beers in just 30 seconds near the American Adventure Pavilion. He was then seen stumbling around while shaking hands and high-fiving people in line. A Disney employee reportedly took his picture and asked vendors to stop selling him alcohol. Embarrassed, his group suggested they head towards the exit, at which point the 30-year-old became even more belligerent. He started cursing his security staff and pushing them around when they eventually asked he leave the park. Holderby took his shirt off and insisted he'd done nothing wrong before heading to the International Gateway. His aggressive behavior was reported to have alarmed people lined up for the Skyliner ride. He then forcefully boarded the ride and nearly fell off it as he continued yelling at security. His narrowly avoided plunge prompted staff to stop the ride in order to keep him safe. Holderby was eventually arrested by local police for trespassing and disorderly intoxication. He took a plea deal in November and avoided jail time in lieu of a $300 fine. Number 4. Mohammed Khan On September the 16th of 2022, the body of the United Kingdom monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, was being laid to rest at Westminster Hall. A man was arrested for causing a scene during the solemn event as he rushed from the queue of mourners to touch the Queen's coffin. After waiting for an estimated 14 hours, 28-year-old Mohammed Khan pushed through other mourners, knocking aside a young girl, then stepped off the carpet and made his way to the coffin. He managed to grab the royal standard flag draped over it with both hands in what appeared to be an attempt to lift it. Khan's actions resulted in a significant security scare, but he was promptly subdued and videos subsequently shared online showed him being wrestled to the ground by security personnel. Khan was arrested and interviewed by the police who later revealed that he didn't believe the Queen was dead and wanted to check for himself. He'd also planned to trespass into Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace and Balmoral Castle and try to make contact with her. When asked how many times he would attempt it, Khan allegedly replied with, as long as I'm living. He was charged with two counts under the Public Order Act for behavior intending to cause alarm, harassment or distress in the aftermath. It was determined that Khan suffered from delusions in which he believed that the Queen was still alive and that King Charles was somehow behind the staging of her death. Following a hearing in late September, he was granted bail provided he remained in a mental health hospital until his next court appearance. Number 3. Alice Sweet Main man Alice Sweet walked into a Portland McDonald's in December of 2020 while carrying a chainsaw. 26-year-old Sweet chased would-be customers with the power tool before he went behind the counter. He revved the chainsaw intermittently at employees and stole some food and a drink. Sweet fled the restaurant, and a manager attempted to confront him in the parking lot, but their exchange culminated with the worker being chased by the chainsaw wielder. Sweet also used the tool to damage several vehicles that were in the McDonald's parking lot. Local police caught up with him at a tire store nearby and took him into custody following a brief foot chase. Sweet was detained on charges of robbery, criminal mischief, refusing to submit to arrest and violation of conditions of release. Today's topic was requested by Koas Kid. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Amanda Gonzalez New Mexico woman Amanda Gonzalez 
was charged with two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and the felony count of criminal damage to property on November the 15th of 2020. At around 7 a.m., law enforcement in Las Cruces were called to a home along the thousand block of Chittamanja Road. 25-year-old Gonzalez had driven to the property to confront her ex, who was there with his new girlfriend. The couple and a female roommate awoke to the sound of pounding on the window. They went outside and were met by an enraged Gonzalez, who proceeded to punch her ex before being pushed to the ground. That's what I needed, the young woman reportedly replied. The trio headed back after the altercation, but Gonzalez then accelerated towards the house and rammed her vehicle into it. Near the front door, her ex, his girlfriend, and the roommate re-emerged and were forced to jump to safety when Gonzalez drove towards them. She crashed into the house once more, leaving a gaping hole in its side and the Nissan with heavy damage to its front. The jilted woman then reversed into a nearby car but ended up stranding the Nissan on rock landscaping in front of the home. Unable to drive away, she tried to flee on foot but was soon taken into the custody of responding law enforcement. Number 1. Nikita Dragon in November of 2022, police in Miami Beach were called to the Good Time Hotel after a guest was reportedly being extremely disorderly. Staff told the police that 26-year-old Nikita Dragon, a transgender model and beauty content YouTuber, had reportedly been walking around the pool area naked and causing a disturbance. Dragon had ignored the staff's demands that she stop acting inappropriately and reportedly threw water onto them. Responding officers accompanied the security personnel to her room from where loud music could be heard. Dragon was told that she needed to change her behavior or leave the hotel, at which point she slammed the door into the police and staff's faces. Shortly afterwards, Dragon opened the door again and asked them, do you want more? Then swung an open water bottle splashing the security personnel and an officer. She was arrested and charged with felony battery on a police officer, misdemeanor disorderly conduct, and misdemeanor battery. Outrage was triggered online following a subsequent recorded hearing in which Dragon asked the female judge if she was to remain in the men's unit to which the judge replied that she didn't make the rules. A Miami-Dade corrections officer later clarified that Dragon had never been placed in the men's ward but instead held in an open seating area while waiting to be processed. She was then transferred to a separate holding cell due to her high-profile status as an influencer and escorted by an LGBTQ officer during her stay. Dragon took to Instagram on November the 20th, thanking her followers for support and claiming that she'd be taking a break from social media while focusing on taking care of her mental health. Thanks for watching. Would you rather streak through a World Cup soccer match or host a Christmas dinner with all your exes? Let us know in the comments section below.